you may be seated, I invite the children to come forward for the children's message. <laughs> well, good morning, guys. How are you doing today? I have a serious question for you. Do you ever do things that your parents tell you not to do? Yeah? Maybe parents say, clean your room, and you don't clean your room. Your parents say, don't yell, and you yell all the more. Yeah, we kind of do that. That's, you know, how we are. Now, I have a really serious question for you. I bet you can't answer this one. We'll see. Why? Anyone? Because we're kids. Well, that's not the worst answer in the world. That's a good answer, right? Well, you know what? When you're adults, guess what? I bet I can ask the same question to your, to your, to your parents and the adults here. In fact, let me do it and let's see what they say. Adults, do you ever do something that you're not supposed to do? Why? Seems like a good idea at the time. Because we're adults, right? Everybody does. Not just because you're kids, but adults do it too, Right? Right? Well, the problem is that we're sinful people. We are sinful people. Now, here's the thing. How do we know that we're sinful people? Where, does, where do we learn that we're sinful people? Kids and adults both. You ever heard of the Ten Commandments? No? Yeah, some of you have, some of you haven't. You will when you get to confirmation. Listen, let me just read one of the commandments for you and tell me if this is, maybe you learned something here. You shall not steal. Have you ever stolen? We've all stolen, right? We've all broken that commandment. I can go on and read more of them and ask, and it'll be the same, kind of the same answer. Here's where we learn what we're not supposed to do, right? We learn how we should live by peeping, being people who don't steal, but in, in fact protect our neighbor's possessions, but we also learn what we're not supposed to do, right? So if our parents come and tell us, you wake up and go to church in the morning, where are they getting that from? Are they just making it up off the top of their head? No, they're getting it from the commandment. One of the commandments says, remember the Sabbath day. Go to church, right? That's where we learn what is right and what is wrong. Now, here's the big question. Can we always follow the Ten Commandments? Are we, can we do that? No, we can't. So the Ten Commandments don't tell us, here's what you've got to do to be good. The Ten Commandments really tell us, here's who you really are. So instead of trying to be good people, which we should be, but before God, how would we get to heaven? How are we made right before God? By following the commandments? No, but how are we made right before God? Who makes us right? Who makes us good? God. Jesus does, right? And Jesus died on the cross, and he took all of our sins with him and died, and he made us free people, right? We are people that are no longer judged by God as sinners. And that's great news because we would have a big problem otherwise, okay? So as you start learning these commandments, as you get a little older and you learn these commandments, you'll start realizing how they aren't teaching you that you've got to do these things to be good. What they're teaching you is God has done all these things for us. And that's good news. Okay, so let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for sending your son Jesus into the world to take our sins away so that we might be set free from the power of sin and death. Continue to remind us that you make us righteous and that you make us good, not because we're good, but because you are good. We ask this in your son's name. Amen. Okay, you want to get the suckers? And be quick, guys, because there's no sermon hymn.